Hello, today we are doing a review on LimeWire, um, text to image, and I guess LimeWire just in general. Um, I've only been using this for maybe a month now, or that's when I was really introduced to it, probably not even that long. So when you go to the LimeWire website, this is the first page that comes up and you can see other people's art. Um, and you can, it's really nice because you see their, the text they use. Some of them have put their texts in here, what they did in order to get the image they got, text image. Some of them, I think, did not like this. You wouldn't, I, maybe that's what she would get if you put that, but, um, might also just be the title. We'll get more into that. Okay, so but one thing, the first thing that I really like about LimeWire, so let's go to AI Studio and um, we'll go to generating images. So the first thing I like is you can see this balance, the credits. So you can almost see it all. Um, is LimeWire gives you, on the free plan of LimeWire, you get 10 credits per day, which for the most part, that means to create an image like these ones, um, it takes 99, uh, 0.99 credits, sorry. So it's about one credit to do each photo. So you can do about 10 a day um, if you're, Things that will change that, we'll, we'll just get into this. Okay, so to doing what, well, that's the first thing I really like about LimeWire though, because I was playing on like Adobe Firefly and they give you like 25 credits, but that's per month on the free plan, which I mean, you can go through those in a day, just trying to get one picture out the way that you kind of want it. Sometimes is what I feel like, so. <clears throat> Anyway, oh yeah, so changing the size is going to change. Let's type something in here. Let's write um, beautiful flower garden. And so it'll estimate the cost, which is 0.99 credits. And then if you're changing the size, I haven't actually done this. Okay, look, so all of these sizes are the same. Um, the quality, if you're going high, that changes the cost to 1.5 credits. Um, these I've all done with the medium quality and I feel pretty happy with where they are. Um, this is the number of image if you were to do more. I'm assuming you would, yes. It would cost almost, okay, so it's a little cheaper to do more, but pretty much one credit per thing. Yeah, uh, one credit per picture. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Is Okay, so let's try this. Something sim yes. super super. So really simple text, beautiful flower garden. Uh, here you can put in neg negative prompts like, I don't want any bugs. And let's just generate that and see what we come up with. This is very simple. So it could have come up with a million different things. You know what I mean? So. 
the more specific you are, the more you'll get what you're actually looking for. Okay, so there we go. This is a picture of our garden. Interesting. All right, so you can get something like that. And now if you were to get more specific, beautiful flower garden at night, uh, dramatic lighting, glowing flowers, Glowing flowers, um, tire swing, um, old, large old tree. Okay, so now we've got a lot more information. So we, again, still the same amount of credits, generate that. And we'll see the difference that we get. Well, that's you can see this is from the AI model is Blue Willow V4. You can actually choose different ones. And some of these are only on Pro, as you can see. Other ones um, you can play around with. Some of them cost more, though. This is only 0.5 credits. Um, the stable diffusion B2.1. Um, anyway, so you can play around with those and, they, and it gives you different things. Okay, so here is, this is interesting. That's the dramatic lighting, two swings. Well, okay. Interesting that it gave us the same flowers. And I think that's because it, you know, we're working from the same thing. Um, all right. So if we wanted to do a style though, an art style, we could put in style and do Alphonse Mocha, which is one of my favorite illustrators, um, and have watercolor. Then we can generate that. And we get something completely different. All right. Much more of a tire swing, I think, there, but. Yeah, if you were to take the dramatic lighting, and there's not, there aren't any glowing flowers. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is about what you can get. Uh, learning how to put the text in, the prompt in, and get something closer to what you are imagining is what the whole point of playing on this is, I feel like. And I know that there are people that write books full of prompts, and they actually give you a lot of advice um, on the help page and stuff, I believe. Um, and also going through on the main page and looking at other artists, other people's prompts. Um, let's see if you click on here, does it let you see? Yeah, so here's the prompt. A man entering a black hole experiencing the effects of color, full lights near the event horizon. So. Yeah, you can go through, read their kind of the different words that they used um, to create their prompts. And yeah, you can look at these. All right. And you can also, yeah, so there you can learn kind of what they did. Obviously, much more in-depth 
uh, it's very good to put in colors uh, that you would like. I saw um, yeah, if you're saying you want blue and oranges or yellows and reds, um, it's really good with the colors and doing that. Uh, so LimeWire was one of my favorite ones uh, playing with it. Um, I was on the other ones like Stable Diffusion and Adobe Firefly. And I didn't feel like they were, Adobe Firefly was okay for their text to image, but they gave you 25 free credits for the month. And I just feel like that's, I don't know, you can get that done. I mean, those are all gone in one, one sitting, um, but that's what I really like about LimeWire is you get 10 credits per day. Um, which, I don't know, I feel like you can work with a lot more if you don't want to go to Pro Plan. Um, and Stable Diffusion, I, I probably need to play on that more. I know that's a favored one by people, but I was looking, I just didn't feel like it was anything similar to my prompts that I would put in. Uh, I put a prompt in and it would just be <laughs> nothing like what I, like ignoring key words and phrases that I had put in um, main points uh, to the art. Anyway, so that's why I wasn't super, uh, super fan of that one, but we'll, I'll go back and play with it again. So let's look at another. So you have create image, which is what we were doing. Um, and then we have editing images. So I, this one is really useful. Um, I can show you what I was working on. So here are the creations. Uh, you can go, you can see 10, your history that you've done up to 10 creations on the free plan and then they kind of just disappear. But if you would like to keep them, you can publish them. I don't think I want to publish this one. Um, you name it and you can publish it. And whenever you publish something on LimeWire, you automatically receive up to 70% of all the ad revenue. Um, and it's given to you in native uh, in LimeWire's native crypto token. So that's the LMWR. Uh, so yeah, you publish it and it goes on to your page, which is here. And all of the art that you have published will stay here. So then if there's anything you really like, you can save it here and then um, it won't disappear into your history. Uh, if you go pro, then you will be able to see your history. So that is that part. Okay, so let's go back and do editing image. And I'll talk to you about how this is really helpful. So I will start off with this image is this is an image that I created on an editing app. I am doing a little story about flowers. And so I composed this just from Google photos, grabbed some pictures of leaves, grabbed some pictures of flowers and put them all together. Um, and there's my other art. Okay. So, but I wanted to get an idea of color scheme and stuff. So I will show you. So like I said, I really like style. Let's just do water, color, and ink. Um, and see what we can pull out. So generate image. 
this is important over here, the prompt guidance, higher values will make your image closer to your prompt. So right now it's at 10. And if you take it down, it'll just go wild with whatever. But if you have it up to, I think it goes up to 15, then it'll stay more specific to what you've written. So here you go. And I think that this works really well to kind of give, an, for me, with doing art, it helps kind of get my mind wrapped around what my art piece is going to look like um, when I complete it, even though it won't look anything like this, but at least I can have an idea of colors and if I like this or I don't like this. Um, I tried out some other ones. I tried with orange flowers here. So it's easy to go in and change things like that and test out kind of what what a finished project is going to look like. So I like that. The other thing that's really fun, we have one more picture <laughs> to do is the photo edit. So here's a picture and we can do a prompt like style water oh, let's do a woman sitting beside a pool concept art woman sitting beside a pool concept art and let's make it let's see how close it stays with the actual image that we have given it so i changed this up to 10.5 that shouldn't make that much bigger much of a difference Anyway, so it's just fun. It's a fun one to play with. And I feel like because it gives you 10 credits per day, that's like the winner for me because you can practice and practice and practice and um, hone in on prompts and what to write to get what you want out of it versus having to wait a whole month before I mean and this is just you know for people that want to play and you're not going to pay for pro so and I think it comes up with really good stuff so now we're out of credits and yeah so thanks for watching and I recommend LimeWire um, for anyone interested in just playing around with this it can give you some really fun things. Here's the one that I did that I really liked that gave me. Anywho, there you go. Bye-bye.